Hey y'all, Phyllis here, southernfrugal.com. Uh, I have got a question. We have searched and searched for the answer, and it's about the uh, Cummins engine and the Cummins, I guess it's a Cummins fuel tank. All right, number one, the uh, back, well, I'll go show y'all. Hold on, I'm going to show you what I'm asking. Okay, I found this when I was cleaning out this closet. So this is a 1996 Allegro bus, 39 foot. And uh, you see that right there, weight of fuel, 150 gallons at six pounds per gallon. And then, uh, so we did not know that this would hold that much. In fact, I really don't think it will. But anyway, uh, that's what they say. The, the tank will hold uh, 150 gallons. Here's the total weight. That would be the gross combined weight uh, of fully loaded motorhome, including all passengers, cargo, and fuel, plus any towed vehicles. 31,000 pounds. Okay. That's a little scary, y'all. 31,000 pounds. Okay. I can drive that. No problem, right? No problem. Anyway, that's. here's my question. I don't know where the fuel tank is, and Mr. Bucky doesn't know because he doesn't know anything about engines, and certainly I don't. But I want to take y'all outside, and I'm going to show underneath this wire that's wrapped around and... Then somebody clipped it together, and uh, I think it's uh, fuel solenoid. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but clearly someone took it and wrapped it around. Now, in the instruction booklet, let me sit back down a minute. Hold on. In the instruction booklet, it said uh, that if you had, if you did not start your engine for like seven days then you would need to attach that thing to the solenoid fuel whatever. And uh, so I really think that's what it is because I think what we're looking at underneath is the, uh, I'm sorry, my light's getting messed up here, there. Um, under the motorhome, I actually saw the, the little wire wrapped around from my kitchen window and I couldn't figure out what it was, but clearly somebody took it and wrapped it around and clipped it and so it's just hanging there and I'm like that looks like the fuel tank so uh, the instructions said uh, if you had not started it in a long time meaning seven days or more uh, that uh, and you had trouble starting it somehow you could attach that little wire to something and it would start so of course we haven't it starts right up every time um, so anyway, I, I want to uh, show y'all on the video. Maybe someone will know what that is. Okay, all right. So I'm going to go out there now. And the wind's blowing, so the audio is probably going to be terrible. But anyway, we'll be right back. Okay, we're outside now. And sorry if the audio is not good because the wind is blowing a little bit. Anyway, that little wire I was talking about, you can actually see it right in there can y'all see that and let me let me just get down on the ground here and show y'all okay. okay there it is right there it looks like some kind of plug so I don't know what this tank is I don't know it, now that I'm down here I'm thinking that looks like an air tank it does and that, yeah, that looks like an air tank probably for the air brakes. I don't know. Huh. So anyway, if y'all know, let me know. There's another wire that's not connected to anything right there. See this one? Right there. That goes to this little thing right here. And then this wire, that looks like a plug of some kind that you probably unscrew it there might be something about the air brakes or something I don't know anyway could y'all tell me what that is if you know and what is this wire 
attached to this thing. I don't know. I'm thinking air brakes, not not the fuel tank. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, y'all, let me know. Help me help me get up. Oh, oh. Yeah, you can see it better that way. Yeah, that I think that's an air tank. I bet we've got one on the other side too. That's what I'm thinking air tank in which case I wouldn't worry about that little wire hanging down that's the one I could see right there and of course it would be much higher up off the ground once that uh, ride system is in and there's another tank I don't know maybe I don't need to know I don't know I think I've said I don't know about ten times here anyway so if y'all know something let me know or if your husband if you've got a husband who knows something about diesels just talk to me y'all i need to know okay bye now